Hey everyone, it's Arcondus Gaming. Thank you for tuning in to another Project Ascension video, and thank you so much for supporting me in my other videos. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment to help me out, so I really do appreciate it. This new character we are making, we're going to be making an arcane missile, pretty much an arcane character. Um, but we have a very fun and interesting legendary random chant in Unchained. So reduce the cooldown of your blink spell by 5 seconds and makes it bind nearby enemies to the matter around them. Uh, preventing them from moving for 3 seconds. Uh, so it's a root when we blink. You also learn an alternative way of blinking by harnessing the arcane to propel you through space. You're only able to do this while casting an arcane spell and it shares the cooldown with your normal blink. But it will not interrupt your spell cast, so I feel like that's really cool. I think in retail WoW, mages can actually blink while casting no matter what. Um, and I've never tried this, so this sounded like a lot of fun, honestly, to cast and blink away. And I don't even do that, but root them. Um, and of course, we're starting with all the arcane stuff. We're starting Moonfire, arcane missiles. We do have Wrath, um, but I think I might change this out for something else. And we have Sprint. Um, but... We do have two skill cards. We have a golden skill card and blink. So we're guaranteeing ourselves blink. We also have starfire. So starfire is the other arcane ability that we can be using. And arcane builds are kind of overwhelming. There's so many things you can do with arcane builds. Arcane moat. Uh, we can also do... Um, there's a arcane build with uh, arcane missiles and moonfire. I think it's called lunar spirit. Yeah, lunar spirits, which spreads the moonfire. So PVE. Um, shooting stars evoker sounds pretty fun but this is more of a multi multi mage thing with fireball and frostbolt might try this later uh but yeah arcane modes shooting stars and then we do have unchained uh, i think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this build i don't think i'm going to keep wrath though it is nature damage but i know there's a lot of synergy with uh, wrath and starfire so we'll probably look into getting a different ability here. Maybe like a life tap or something to get our mana back will probably help us more. Or even maybe a heal. Um, but yeah, I'm going to reroll Wrath. Maybe that's not the best choice, but I honestly don't really know with uh, with Arcane builds. Uh, but I don't really think we need Wrath as much if we're going to Starfire, Moonfire, and uh, Arcane Missiles. But I'm going to do some more research and uh, we'll figure out if we want to reroll Wrath or not. But thank you, y'all. Thank you. I said thank you, y'all. Uh, it's just the, the southern in me. But I really do appreciate everyone helping me out with these videos. Again, make sure to like and subscribe for more content and enjoy. All right. Should be level 10. Let's see what we're going to be getting early. Oh. I already see it. I'm sure you guys do as well. Fire Blast. That's not bad. I was actually thinking about, uh, instead of Life Tap, going Fire Blast as well. Um, because now that we have Fire Blast, uh, we can put some points into Fire Mage to get an impact. Uh, so when we're casting all these spells, we can throw out Fire Blast to stun the target. So that's going to be really fun. And kind of glad that we actually got that ability. That was super lucky. But let's get to level 12 as well, because turning in all these at the beginning zone can get us to level 12. So let me just pick up anything here. Yeah, but again, there's a lot of synergy with the arcane stuff, and maybe, who, who knows, if we roll specific things later on, we can uh, maybe change our legendary random enchant to something better. Because I know um, there's two blink random enchants. I don't know if I showed it off. Blink. There's unchained and time warp. Time warp seems really fun, really fun as well. So after we cast blink, um, we get spell haste and crit by 5%. For six seconds and we can go back to the position we were just in so it's pretty much like unchained uh but we can't blink while casting so that could be very interesting as well there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with arcane um too many things honestly um it's kind of overwhelming like i said before but uh, hopefully we're going in the right direction so far uh maybe we can try both of the legendary random enchants with blink to see which one's more fun but we're sticking with unchained for now uh, but let's see what we're going to get at level 12 here maybe a buff or some sort i'm not sure what we really need at these early stages uh, powered shield would have been sick well i i mean <laughs> i did ask for a buff uh so we got thorns uh which i mean not the greatest buff in the world uh the uh, power shoot would have definitely been better, but I know there's random enchants uh, with thorns that you can like 
deal damage back. Uh, but you can't use this in bear form, which is a shame. Uh, because if you can use thorns or the random enchant that makes you like burst out in bear form, that'd be super sick. So hopefully they change that because that would make bear fun a little bit more fun as well. Uh, but I know maybe if someone's like a reflect tank, it doesn't really matter if they're not in bear form. But let's go ahead and head to the crossroads and get to level 14. Um, the really interesting thing as well, Blink and Starfire are level 20 abilities. Um, so typically I believe how it works is we'll get one ability at 20 and then we'll have to wait for 22 to get another one. Hopefully it's how it works. I'm not sure if it like if it's going to bug out and give us one and not the other. So I probably should should have uh, paid attention to that a little bit more. But this is the first time that I'm actually guaranteeing two abilities at level 20. So <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, what if we get both at level 20 and just get an extra ability? That'd be kind of OP, but we'll figure it out. Let's head over to Crossroads. I don't know when I should use my rerolls. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I should do them early or save them. I just don't know what I want. Maybe if I get to use this ability, I will uh, reroll them. But let's see what we're going to get here at level 14. Charge. <laughs> Man, this would be really cool if, uh, if I were melee. But charge at level 14. I don't see a world where we're going to be needing this. Because uh, I definitely don't want to be in anyone's face. That's for sure. Maybe if we... We can charge in and then blink because I don't know, I don't know what um, where the bind is. The bind at the beginning of the blink or at the end of the blink? Because if it's at the end of the blink, we can. Bl I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't know. Maybe if it's at the beginning, we could charge in and blink away. I don't know, but charge is a, definitely a weird ability. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm not going to reroll just yet. Um, charge is not waiting me for anything. And uh, I don't know, maybe it could be fun and useful. If I get like a close interrupt, like kick or pummel maybe later. So I can charge it and interrupt and then blink out against the caster. Who knows? Uh, charge at level 14 and then thorns at level 12. And then fire blast at level 10. But let's keep continuing here. Um, for talents, I'm just going to go into the arcane tree here a little bit, just increase my haste, and then I might go into balance at the start here to reduce my um, casting of starfire. Uh, but I definitely want to. There's a lot of fun stuff in the arcane mage tree where we can get like uh, to get clear casting and increase damage through there. So, so yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Later in the talent tree, I'm not sure what can be good, so um, we'll just keep checking it out to see. All right, let's get level 16 right here. I don't know what to expect, honestly. I mean, Power Shield was looking very nice, um, but let's see what we get. Maybe another stun, something. Don't say, this is overpower. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that would have been funny if it was overpower. So, Raptor Strike, still not a great ability. Um, but honestly, I don't know when we should reroll. Should I just reroll now for the for the content? No, we should wait for level 20 because we can get icy veins. Let me let me hold off for now. Um Raptor Strike, definitely not something we're gonna be needing. So we got three weird abilities: uh charge, thorns, and raptor strike. Uh, but I think we're gonna hold off for 20 because icy veins would be pretty fun to get. And there's another holy buff. Power infusions at level 40. That would be nice to get as well. Does not stack with other. Okay. So power infusion and icy veins do not stack. Um, but it'd probably be worth rolling for icy veins. Um, and maybe arcane power. Where's arcane power at? Is that level 20? Oh, my mage. Arcane power is level 40. Hmm. So we'll see. Um, when I start rolling a bunch of bad abilities, I'm just like, okay, I want to reroll. So we'll see if we keep rolling bad abilities and maybe use them at level 20. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely figure out whether or not we get which ability we're going to get at level 20 and if we have to wait till 22 to get both of them. Uh, since they are both level 20 abilities, I'm talking about Starfire and Blink. Um, 
But yeah, we're probably going to Arcane Concentration here for the clear casting. Definitely help out with mana. We do have Life Tap, but um, clear casting always helps. And later, Arcane Potency is going to increase our crit uh, by 15 when we get uh, clear casting from that. So let's uh, let's keep trucking here. Level 18, we get one Ability Essence Abilities. Not going to be anything too crazy, uh, but I'm hoping for Conjure Water, maybe Slow Fall as well. On our way back to turn and quest, this is gonna hit level us level 20. Let's see if uh, let's see what ability we get again. Starfire and Blink at level 20. Uh, hopefully our game doesn't like explode. Uh, but we also have a greedy demon here. Greedy demons help us uh, commute and save our items on the go. And since we do have the legendary random channel on a cape, which I just randomly bought um, for cheap. Uh, we want to make sure we don't lose that, but let's see what we get at level 20 let's See if it's gonna be blink or starfire. All right, we got starfire. Oh, man. I wish we got blink honestly um, So we can test out the random enchant but starfire I mean an ability we definitely need Thankfully we were able to guarantee it So let's put starfire on our bars and I'll probably start putting points into balance to reduce the the cast time of our starfire uh, so we'll do that. Let's get Starfire here. And I wonder how hard it's going to hit these low levels. Let's see. 123 to 151. Is, is there a cooldown on it or can we spam it? So it looks like there's no cooldown. So maybe it would be beneficial when we um, when you get a clear casting to hit him with a big Starfire. Or maybe, uh, I think I saw some somewhere where like we can reduce the... Um, Cast time, not only the cast time, but increase the damage. That might be arcane modes that I'm thinking about, uh, the random enchant. Uh, but I don't know if there's a way to make Starfire instant cast. But I also do know we can make it stun. Uh, so. Wait, did we also get blink as well? No. It's just. It, it threw me off because it said here we have it. Can we. <laughs> it's like maybe you get like drag it but nah we don't have blink just yet uh so let's get to 22 and get blink um let's use a reroll really quick though because right now i, I want to test something here let's see if this gives me blink if we roll that'd be very interesting um because i just want to test some stuff out but we do want icy veins it's a really strong ability to have it makes us un uninterruptible and makes it so we can uh, increase our spell casting. Uh, so we probably should have saved the talent point. Let me really quick level to 21 really fast because 21 doesn't increase our um, ability pool and I'm right there anyway. We just need to kill one thing with that guild's experience. So let me do that real quick and then we'll reroll and see what we get at uh, level 20 reroll. Okay, so we just leveled off of discovering an area and southern barons actually is a bonus zone so we're probably going to be sticking here a little bit we got a rage fire chasm and pop but i wasn't going to go in there especially since we have a bonus experience zone here now let's get rid of raptor strike i think this is the most useless ability out of the the ones that we've rolled and let's see what we get didn't spend a talent point uh so we didn't get icy veins huh so we got blink. So we ended up getting our, when we re-rolled, we ended up using our skill card. Uh, so that's very interesting. So that's probably a huge waste um, to use our re-roll right there. But, well, we got two abilities. I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't know how that works, but we got blink. Uh, so we can test out our random enchant. Uh, so probably not worth to, uh, use our thing there but it's all right we'll get another ability at level 22 so we're almost there and let's see how this works with blink so now that we have our legendary equipped we can blink while moving so I'll probably or blink while casting so let's start huh maybe it's a different blink Reduce the cooldown of your blink. Uh, binds the nearby enemies and run front them. Um, you're only able to do this while casting an arcane spell. So, 
let's test it with arcane missiles first of all. And that interrupted? Did that interrupt? I thought it said it didn't interrupt. Are we tripping here? I am confused. So, chess code that we remove will not interrupt your spell cast. So let's unequip and reequip this. So I don't know if it's properly working. Ah, okay. Unchained blink. Where was unchained blink? Okay, so. All right, there it is. So unchained, unchained blink. I thought we didn't get it, but uh, instead of it going to like our mage tree, it goes into our, you know, our general tree. So okay. <laughs> Uh, kind of got worried there. So Starfire, let's see if this works. Yes, Starfire works. Perfect. Why right, wouldn't it? And then it should work with arcane missiles as well. We'll test that out in one second when we get it back up. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to sit in this bonus experience zone and just level. I think this is probably going to be the fastest way. We probably should start off with a Starfire and then arcane missiles. So we probably should Starfire, Moonfire, Cane Missiles, sweet, uh, this is so much fun and uh, reduces our uh, cooldown of Blink by 5 seconds as well and I'm kind of glad we did get Life Tap because we are just eating through our mana with all these spells. Um, but another cool thing uh, about the Arcane Tree and uh, our clear casting is we have a chance to get a clear casting whenever we shoot an arcane missile, I believe. Not just when we press the button, but every time our arcane missile leaves our hands. Yeah, see? So we ended up getting two clear casting there for pressing one button. So that's why arcane missiles is so, so good for getting uh, clear casting procs. Um, but yeah, let's keep leveling. We're probably gonna hit level 22 right here anyway. Uh, and again, again, we're gonna stick here for a little bit. So let's do this, 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 jump back, arcane missiles, blink. <laughs> uh, man, this is so much fun. All right, let's get one more kill here. Yeah, we're gonna be sitting here for, oh, actually no, we can't. We're in Ag Agamagor, we need to be in Southern Baron. So we'll probably head to the opposite side of this really quickly, because we did lose our debuff. Thank goodness I, I'm paying attention. Well, for the most part. All right, one more kill. Let's kill this storm snout here really quick. Back in the zone. So starfire, moonfire, we missed, and then arcane missiles. If he gets close, just blink away. Nice. All right, level twenty-two. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Distract. That is fucking hilarious, dude. It's never blink, even when you get blink. Uh, so we got distracting shot at level uh, 22. We're probably gonna reroll that. Should I reroll? Right. What do you guys think? I think we're gonna reroll. Let's do it. Let's just use both our rerolls here. Let's get rid of distracting shot. I, this is such an eyesore. I can't even begin to explain it. We used our talent point. We saw that. Let's see what we get. Fuck. Divine Sacrifice. Okay, we're gonna have to hold this ability. We went for it, boys. We went for it. I don't know why you're even able to get this ability. They should take this ability out of the game. Uh, but let's keep uh, questing or leveling here in the bonus experience zone. Hopefully you get some good loot and um, some better abilities. So I also forgot to test the, the root because uh, we do get a root for it. Now, what the hell is this on my screen? Am I tripping? Do y'all see this? Right here? What does that mean? Is that my bag just tripping? Am I getting hacked? I'm not losing my mind. I do... What does that mean? <laughs> I have no idea why this is popping up around my screen. Uh, but uh, let's test the blink here. So let's test it at the end of the blink. Do they get rooted? Or am I just lagging? Oh, okay. So I only can use it while casting. 
Okay. So we're learning things here. So we only can use Unchained Blink while we cast. We can use Normal Blink regularly, regularly of course, but um, we can't use Unchained Blink with just not casting. So, okay, we're learning things here. That thing in the top fucking right corner was throwing me off. Uh, so let's use Unchained to get away here. Huh. Reduce the cooldown of your blink and makes it bind nearby enemies to the matter around them, preventing them from moving. Was that just a thing because we weren't in combat with that? Okay. Let's get in combat with this dude. Let's cast. No. He did get rooted. Am I am I missing something here? I feel like I am. We're moving for three seconds. Ah, uh, okay. So does is normal blink? Let's do normal blink. Sorry, guys. I this is the first time I've used this ability. So see. so normal blinking. All right. So normal blinking binds them. Unchained doesn't. All right, and we're leveling super fast anyway. Level twenty four. We get. Are you <laughs> Are you kidding me? We got poisons. I feel like we're running into poisons all the time now. Because we've just been leveling caster characters. Okay, so poisons at level level 20 24. I'm going to be honest, I, it's going to hurt, but we really don't need poisons. Um Yeah, that one that one hurts. But uh, when you get too lucky, this is what happens. And we lost Unchained Blink, so we got to put that back on our bar. So let's test out Blink while moving in now. Okay, so it doesn't matter where, if it's at the beginning of the Blink or the end of the Blink, it will still root them. So that's interesting. So we can either use Blink to root or use it to, you know, move while casting. So, a little bit of uh, some testing going on, but at least we know what situation to use the blink. I... <clears throat> Alright, so this should be level 26. Um, I might be trying the Time Warp random enchant as well. Because um, we do have, I, I believe we do have it on another character. Uh, maybe maybe this is, is why it's kind of OP. We can arc cast Arcane Missile and then blink out of range and the cast will still be going on. All right, so 26, yikes, Demoralizing Shouts. Um, I feel like in general, Demoralizing Shouts probably one of the most useless abilities. Like, it, I mean, in, in like, when I say that, it's like there's nothing for it. Like, Demoralizing, like there's no random enchant for Demoralizing Shout. It could be fun if they were to make something useful out of it. Um, besides decreasing the attack power, maybe like, um, would it be too OP to make it like increase the spell casting speed of enemies? I don't fucking know. That that could be over, overpower. This is why I don't come up with uh, <laughs> ideas. Uh, but we have a few abilities we don't need so far. Uh, Divine Sacrifice. Probably have to reroll that soon. A Demoralizing Shout. Poisons, unfortunately, we don't really need. Um and uh thorns isn't the greatest in charge as well but build still pretty strong okay so all southern barons is again the bonus experience zone and this rare spawn is actually here which is nice uh what we also did is we got time warp so with time warp we're able to blink and then go back to our position so i don't think we can't use all spell casting which is fine uh, but let me kill this guy really quick. We do a lot of damage here. Let's see if we can get a clear casting and then use another Starfire. What we can do is we can blink to increase our damage and then blink back. Oh man, this might be way... This feels way more fun. I'm going to be honest. Um, so, let's see. What did we get here? Eccentric Elementalist. Any upgrades. Um, that was the first time I've seen this rare spawn in a while. But either way, so with Time Warp, which is the other blink random enchant. 
Uh, the legendary random champ. When we blink, we gain damage. So let me see. Let's go kill something with experience here. All right, nothing. Anything with experience in the area? Okay, this thing. So when we blink, we get damage. So we can go in. What we can do is blink in Starfire. Then go out Arcane Missiles. Something like that. And then we're getting this increased damage while we have that buff up. Uh, so, yeah, I think Time Warp, in my opinion, is a little bit more fun. Um, you can't move while casting, and you can't root anyone. But um, you get extra damage, and you can... I mean, if it's against a, a melee character, you can definitely break their ankles. So, All right, here it is, level 30. Um, we can't get anything fun at level 30, I don't think. Um, let me see, maybe... No, oh. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Let's go ahead and blink. Go back. <laughs> it certainly is fun. Mm, yeah, Blood Rage at level 30. Yikes. Um, yeah, we're not getting the best abilities, but again, we'll be able to reroll some of these. Um, I definitely see the different uses for these two different blinks. I mean... This one that I'm using right now increases our damage and, you know, can break some ankles. And the other one does certainly help uh, get more against... Uh, I mean, it depends. It depends what you're fighting, really. And maybe the one I have on right now is probably better for PvE. Um, I do like the, the choice that you get from using the Unchained. So you either can use your normal blink to root them and get away. Or you can use it if they're in your face and you're casting... Uh, so it certainly does help with melee and maybe the other blink when you root them can help on uh, casters as well or hunters with pets um so they're they're both very fun uh, now that i've been playing both of them the um they both i mean they're definitely fun for sure uh let's try out this one again really quickly unchained blink uh may maybe a little bit better i was you know talking a little bit down on it but it could be a little bit better than the other blink Let's just try it out again. So we can potentially Starfire root them and then go away like that. Or if they're in your face and you're already casting, you can use it and just get away. But uh, very fun, both of them. These rolls, however, weren't really the greatest. We're probably going to save our reroll for rerolls for level 40 now. Uh, since there's nothing really great we can get at level 30 that I see. Um, we probably want arcane power, which is 40, or maybe the, um, the priest one, but we can't use both of them. Maybe icy veins is better than, um, I keep forgetting what it was called. Power infusion, uh, increases casting speed and reducing mana, whereas icy veins increases casting speed but makes me uninterruptible uh so definitely either way there uh but what do you guys think about these two different blinks which one do you do you think is better and if you were to play a build like this which one do you think you would go for again they both have their different uses oh god what level is this dude 22 okay um, they both, they definitely both have their different uses, uh, but let me know what you guys think, and what do you think about this character? Is there anything else we can look forward to? Um, I don't know if Arcane Missiles triggers our impact. Uh, it says direct damage spells. Is there someone in front of me? But it hasn't proc the whole time that I've been using these abilities. Maybe we can try to proc it. Maybe now that I talked about it, it'll proc. <laughs> All right, so it does proc. We just had to uh, put one more point in it to make it a little bit higher of a chance. All right, so I was ending the video, but we do have these rare spawns. Hmm. Oh, this guy. This guy's going to try? You want to you wanna try this, dude? I can share. Let's do this shit. I'm just gonna fucking big boy burst someone. What we'll do here is we'll root them all. Oh, sick. 
Oh god, we'll sprint away. <laughs> we'll sprint away for our next uh, blink to come up. Oh, we're getting our ass beat though. We gotta stand the NR. Oh, we're probably gonna die here. We almost have blink. We can blink away and kite this guy. Don't kill me, blink! <laughs> All right, yeah, we're getting fucked. <laughs> Run. Oh God, I'm dead here, aren't I? Oh my God. I actually lived. We probably should have stayed in the NR. We got one of them though. And we didn't die, so that's a plus. We'll wait for this guy to come back and <laughs> uh, we'll, uh, We'll help him kill it. We don't have any food. Oh, we have food, but it's trash. Probably need a heal as well. Also, in a situation like that, our, this blink was better, obviously. We were able to root. Uh, yeah, this guy has to come back. I don't have a res or a heal. This just feels so bad. Okay, he's back. We'll probably focus the gray one, or maybe I should focus the one of the ones that give experience so I can level off of them. Let's just target this guy. Let me mark some shit here. Let's, let's get some organization here, Beller. Do you have a heal or anything? All right. I should probably wait for my cooldown. All right, let's... Uh, Blink, slow them down. Okay, get stand in the ANR, stand in the ANR here. Let's target the next one. Nice. We did it, boys. Good job, dude. Dream Singer leg guards don't need. I will need the caster stuff. All right, I will need this. Don't need that. No, oh, he. I mean, that's all. All this is this. <laughs> no caster stuff, really. Uh, all right, so we're actually we actually are going to use our thirty reroll. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of divine sacrifice. Hopefully, again. Icy veins would be cool, uh, but we're just we're YOLO, right? We're doing it for the content, getting triggered by these, you know, less than favorable roles. So let's go ahead and get rid of Divine Sacrifice, and let's see what we get. We got our talent point back to get, you know. <laughs> What a what a heartbreaking turn of events. I know, you know, the it doesn't matter what this looks like, but Icy Veins was right there, but it gave us pick lock, the ability we cannot escape. Uh, so unfortunate turn of events. Ended it on a on a bad note, but it's alright. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Let me know what you think about the blinks again. Make sure to like subscribe and comment and i will see you in the next one